Welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade, Bloodlines. So I still need to do the main quest of putting an end to Sean Hampton's savagery. Looks like they're just across the water. But of course there's also a bunch of side quests I want to do, one of which is apparently down here. I don't even know if I can get here. That's the one to find the uh, the place where the bombing happened from the, the drunk person. Like the site of the bombing so they can mourn there, that's down there. But uh, the other two ones that I have are here at the western docks. Let's first try to find a way across. Probably going to teleport across the water. Fine farmhouse. Cheese, eggs, spend wisely. Save wisely. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Caulfield's Farm Dairy. That must be a reference to Life is Strange, right? Caulfield? Max Caulfield? Between the plant and that, they like putting references in their game. Is that body still here? No, remember remember the very beginning of the game there was a body in this boat and we had to examine it? Aha! Yes, we can teleport to the other side. Is there anything else I want to explore here, though? Like, do I, have I, I haven't been here. Let's go check out the back streets. See if there's any wet boys around, if you know what I mean. Another way across. Who are you? Hello, boy. Uh, hello. Good evening. Did I scare you? You have nothing to fear from me. No, it's just that people prefer to avoid me. Well, I won't. I'm a doctor. My name is Rufus, sir. Rufus Kingsbury. Are you alone? Where is your family? I don't have any. My parents are dead. So you have no home? You're sleeping rough? No. I mean, yes. I live on the streets. I have no home. <laughs> we are all alone. <laughs> Real uplifting there. Oh, they have anemia. Well, I think I have one medication for everything. Do you need help? A real doctor caring about me. That's a first. I feel like a real person. A real doctor treats everyone the same, Rufus. I don't know what to say. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Are you alive? So you... No. You should be careful, Rufus. There are things that lurk in the shadows of this city. Things that prey on the lonely and the desperate. Well, I've known worse. I'm not all alone. I have Mrs. Fishburne. She's been very kind to me. Why do you think she's so considerate? I can't say, sir. I guess she's a good soul. Sometimes it's like she replaces the mother I lost, even if we're not related. What do you do around here, Rufus? I listen to the news on the dock, sir. I smile at those kind enough to spare me a bob. What do people say about this place? Things have been tense between the wet boot boys and the communists. They both feel they should run the dogs. Do you have a job? I mean, I guess they sort of just answered it. Do you have a job? It's hard to work. What with my head and all. Since I was a boy, I've always had trouble remembering what I do and why I do it. What can you tell me about this region? It's all about staying out of trouble. But since most people prefer to avoid me, it's pretty easy. Why do people avoid you? They call me Rufus the Curse. Around here, I'm a bit of a bad luck charm. Have you ever thought about leaving? <laughs> Where else would I go? At least I know these streets and some people around here. This is my city, for better or worse. 
So long, Rufus. Be careful, take care. To every night, a darkness, and every dog. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Why must it always be a good evening? I was just being polite. I'm Dr. Reed. I'd like to ask you some questions, if I may. Don't like questions, or doctors. And the name is Seymour Fishburne, if you must know. What's your occupation? I take care of my mum. It's what I do. She's the only good thing in my life. Even though I don't treat her so good. You seem upset. Is something bothering you? I lost the necklace I bought her. I'm a fucking idiot. A worthless idiot. A simple token of filial love. New investigation. What kind of name is that for a quest? Sometimes it's hard to be a good son. I just wanted to smile. No, I was thankful for her patience, appreciated like. God knows she deserves it. What can you tell me about this part of town? A shithole filled with maggots. Liars and thieves, all of them. Sounds about right. Are you thinking about someone in particular? No. Hate them all. Especially these petty, whining little shitbag beggars. Oh. Well, you're an asshole. Oh, they have a cold. Well, I'll still treat you for the health of the district, you know. Do you require medical? I don't know. What? Is there no one who deserves your leniency then? Well, Tom from our local is somewhat of a decent bloke. At least, unlike most maggots, he knows how to listen without opening his trap. Goodbye, Mr. Fishburne. I guess we'll find the necklace? Just for the mother, if no one else? But certainly not for that person. God, they're a prick. The fog's been hiding them of late. Wait, can I go in any of these doors? Oh. Good evening, madam. I'm Dr. Reed. Could I come in? Why? What do you want? I work at the Pembroke Hospital. I'm investigating the flu epidemic in this area. Oh, the Spanish flu. Well, that's quite liberal of you, Doctor. But this is no time to be knocking at people's doors. <laughs> Just tell them, let me in. The disease takes away the good people too, madam. Why not let me in? It's Mrs. Fishburne. Stella Fishburne. And yes, indeed. Why not let a doctor in? I can't remember the last time I had a good sleep. I've been nothing but worry. So you have questions about the flu, then? Yes, among other things. Forgive my rudeness at the door. It's just my son doesn't like strangers coming in the house. May I ask what you do for a living, Mrs. Fishburne? Since my husband died, I worked at the Dawson Rope Factory, but it closed before the war. I occasionally help at the night asylum in exchange for food. About the night asylum, don't go there. Sean Hampton is a monster and is probably there. Did your husband die in the war? Oh no. My Jack was a docker. He died when my Seymour was just a lad. The poor boy saw his dad slip and fall from that scaffolding. How do you pay the rent, then? My Seymour works at the docks, just like his dad. He's very attached to the house he grew up in. It's not always easy, but we get by all right. How is life around here? Life has always been hard in the East End. But it's everywhere nowadays, isn't it? 
Do you think the increase in violence has anything to do with the epidemic? Don't know, but it's most likely linked to the gangs, if you ask me. Recently, it's like everyone has had to pick a side. The orphan that regards you as a mother, please tell me about him, Stella. You mean Rufus? I wish I could do even more for the poor boy. Most people are so selfish. But you're not. Years may have passed, but I haven't forgotten how it feels to go through days with nothing but an empty stomach. Three possible hints. Not sure how to unlock those. I've been nothing but worry. Don't mind me, I'm just robbing an old lady. I think that's about it for the East End docks at the moment. Let's go to the other side. It ain't you, man. Yeah. What? Holy shit, that thing's level 22. Hmm. I can probably take it, right? Yeah. And I took it out that easily? How am I so powerful? This looks so similar to the other warehouse, where there was also a beast inside of it. I know I looked in- I think I looked in here at the beginning of the game, when I was going by this area trying to escape. I don't know if I had to go in here too, though. Maybe I did, and that's another reason it looks so familiar. Where are we now? Close to the other side. Look what I found. Swim through these doors. I didn't even know this was where it was. I wasn't even looking at the compass. This is the gin that I need. Tom has so much alcohol, he could keep this district afloat for quite some time. Newspaper article. Of course it doesn't open. Youth arrested for attempted murder. Last night, a young man named Tom Watts was arrested by the police for attempted murder in the renowned restaurant The Silver Bell on Percival Street. The suspect was spotted standing in front of the restaurant pointing a gun at customers for about one minute without firing. Two witnesses promptly reported his behavior. Watts was arrested, arrested without incident but refused to give any explanation for his actions and only gave his name. His gun was loaded, confirmed the policeman who answered our questions. It is likely that Watts will feel the full force of His Majesty's courts for this transgression. The young man shall be jailed for a few years at least. What the hell, Tom? Yeah, new hint. We're gonna have to have a chat about that. Well, we're so close, might as well talk with him right now. You lied to me, Tom. Your warehouse wasn't empty. It was inhabited with armed vigilantes. I'm sorry, Dr. Reed, but I thought those Prewin guards would be willing to let someone like you pass without trouble. That was devious of you, Tom. Next time you can bloody well go yourself. I apologize, Doctor, but it's just that I prefer to avoid the law, its enforcers, and all manner of thugs in uniform. So are you an outlaw? Here is your booze. I hope it will appease your customers. Just try not to kill anyone with this poison of yours. <laughs> Believe me, Doctor, most of my customers are less agreeable when sober. Why not leave town and start a new life after you got out of jail? I grew up in the East End. This is where my roots are. This is where I want to help others and die eventually. Do you think the docks will always be a hive of scum and villainy? As long as poverty and fear run the show, I don't see how it would change. Misery loves company, as they say. Tell me about your arrest for attempted murder, Tom. I tried to kill someone. I got arrested. I paid my debt and I have nothing to hide. 
Do you think prison changed you? Made you a better man? Oh, I don't know about that. All I brought back is bad memories, scars, <laughs> and an ugly tattoo of a blue turtle. But do you feel cleansed of your sins? All I know is that I'm at peace. I did what I did, but I wouldn't do it again. Does that make me a better man? I don't know. So you mean your customers know about your sordid past? Yeah, <laughs> why do you think this is the last pub open? I have nothing to hide, and I don't judge. That's a relief for many round here. Yeah, I guess they're really not hiding anything. I was thinking maybe they, they've been escaping from the law ever since, but... I mean, how would they do that, though, if they're the owner of a business? It'd be pretty hard to escape the law as an owner of a business. You attempted murder. Give me some details. I was given an order. An order to kill. I was an obedient gang member at the time. A proud, wet boot boy. Why did you join the gang? Because I finally felt useful. Do you have any idea what it means to feel respected when the rest of the world shits on you? So you were ordered to kill someone? What happened then? I don't know if you can possibly understand, but... I couldn't kill him. I just stood there, pointing my gun. Someone saw me. I gave up. Why couldn't you shoot? My target was eating in that fancy restaurant with mirrors and music. He was eating, drinking, laughing. He was having such a good time. I hated him for his bottomless appetite, an easy life of easy pickings. And then something happened. You've had a sad, violent, and lonely life, with no joy to speak of. You realized that you were living with nothing but sadness. No, not really. I had friends and happiness in my life. And it was more about just being pleased for the guy. Did you have to make a elaborate guess about exactly what they were feeling, Jonathan? You could have just said, what were you feeling? I guess I should just do the main quest. It is right next to me. Yeah, let's go. Jimmy the Spark Barlow. We gonna have a boss fight? Probably. Level 16. No resistance to blood or shadow. Like the guard of Prewen is on Sean Hampton's trail, too. Want some of this? Ah! Stop it, Lynch! Oh, oh, that's an actual flamethrower. setting your friend on fire there.
The wounds on this corpse are deep. The result of rabid rage. If this is Sean's doing, he's become a murderous beast. I think we already knew that from what they did at the hospital. So, what now? I think we need to head down here, which is at the back of the warehouse, leads to the beach. I think we gotta head down here to get maybe past the gate. Try to go through here to kind of get further in and it wouldn't take me there. This looks like it's closed off, so I think I gotta head down here and then maybe up here. Looks like a maze. Person with a flamethrower up there. Huh? Let's go. There's one of them. Watch yourselves. See ya. Oh, I don't have enough blood, that's why I'm not able to do the thing. Groups fighting. Whoa, bullets coming my way. Okay. Yeah, they can fight it out. Let's gather some loot. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff up here. It's like whole houses. And there's that photo that I've seen like half a dozen times now. Yeah, so that. Oh. This weird little alleyway? Or, or whatever this is. It's really a lot of twisting, winding streets here. Monster over there. And hunters over there. Powerful ones. Holy symbol ones. Yeah, I think this was locked. Can I unlock it from this side? Ah, yes. Nice. Oh, curfew. Curfew will be sounded at 9 p.m. by the church bells. Got to keep off the streets until 5 a.m. Ah, oh, this is the non-combat zone. Yep, looks like we're near the asylum. There's a hideout over there. Wait, and a quest? Which one is this? Oh, the Vampire Hunter Extraordinaire. Gotta distribute some posters. Apparently there's a pile of posters here. Anti-vampire posters. Can I read them? <laughs> what is that? 
<laughs> Danger is closer than you think. They're already here. Do not let them take the kingdom. Ichabod Throgmorton, expert vampire hunter. What a doofus. Origin of the Skulls. It has been established for some time now that Skull is the vernacular name of a different species of lesser blood drinkers. A Skull often seems to be the victim of a vampire attack who miraculously survived death and came back as a crooked version of its maker. According to many observations made by our order throughout the centuries, Skulls are generally despised and killed by vampires, who consider them lesser and despicable creatures. The name itself means slave. They also have been called Sokaliba, Arabic, Sklavis, Latin, or Sklavonoi, Greek. This shows how old these creatures are and how their makers perceive them. This may be why skulls often tend to form small and discrete communities that stick together. It is also interesting to note that skulls seem to call themselves, uh, call themselves this way as if they've accepted for a long time their status as inferior servants among vampires. It is more difficult for a skull to hide its monstrous nature. Pale skin, terrible teeth, strange emaciation, dilated and staring pupils. Many have lost all hair, and they show wounds and scars which stay open without never... with... without never complete... I think I'm supposed to say without ever completely healing. They also seem capable of surviving by eating the flesh of the dead, while vampires need blood from the living. They may be the real origin of the mythical figure of the ghoul. The folklore creature who lurks in cemeteries and feeds from the dead. A skull is a miserable creature. Most of the times, they fear to be seen by both humans and vampires. In some regions, older skulls have been witnessed nearby vampires as servants or slaves, obtaining protection by sacrificing their freedom. Most of the skulls are descended from Ekans and show humanoid silhouettes. Much more uncommon, some present a more canine aspect and behave like wolves. They are sometimes called uh, vulpes. Vulps? Vulpes? In ancient texts, at least a third type exists. In the shape of a bird... Of a bird of bat? <laughs> I think it's supposed to say bird or bat. There's a lot of misspellings in this game. And they are called Corvus. William Marshall himself referred three times to some bat-shaped creature he called vampire in his memoirs. Other types may exist, unknown or unidentified for now. From Drinking at the Fountain of Knowledge by Usher Talltree. Okay, let's just back up for a second. One of the other types, the uh, Volpes, or Volps. I'm going to say Volpes. That has a canine aspect, behaves like wolves. Didn't they, the person that appeared to have been killed by a vampire at the streets in the East End docks that the, the blowhard vampire hunter was looking over, didn't somebody there say something about a wolf-like creature? Came by and just appeared and killed him and, and then disappeared? It sounds like that's what they are, a Volpes. I'm surprised I don't see blood everywhere. If this is actually where Sean Hamilton has appeared. It's locked. It's Your locked, all right. Welcome here, sir. Okay. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. May I have your attention for a minute? Good evening, sir. My name is Giselle Paxton, but I don't have time for men like you. Have we met before? No. But I just need to look at your fancy clothes to know that you must be desperate to visit the docks at night. That's quite judgmental of you. Sir, I've led enough strikes when I had a job to identify you as an enemy of the working class. I... Is that really what you're thinking about during an epidemic? It's... There's like... There's monsters around! There's an epidemic, like everybody's dying, and there's monsters in the streets. And I... Uh, just a weird thing to focus on right now. May I ask what you do for a living? I'm killing myself scraping for a living. And you? Have you ever had to struggle in your entire life? I mean, fair. Why such hatred? Are you judging me by my clothes and my job? Course I am. Fuck, you're so blind. You don't even see your privilege. Lazy people like you disgust me. 
I mean, she's right. What can you tell me about this vicinity? Tell you what, just spend a few weeks here and then ask me that question again. If you're still alive, I mean. If you have something to say, say it. I'm getting tired of all this. Oh, you want information instead. Well, here's some for you. Giselle Paxton does not like you at all, Doctor. You speak of strikes and class enemy. Am I right to assume you're involved in trade union activism? You bet I am. Well, I was. Nowadays, I'm just another worker blacklisted by the big companies. Isn't the whole point of trade unions to help workers in need? Why don't they support you? A few nights back, I lost the money my companions had asked me to hide. With me and my sister being penniless, they thought I stole it. What really happened? I drank too much that night. Strange men saw me count the money in that bar. Some sort of militia in uniform. I'm sure they robbed me. I have some vague recollection of the trade unionists being mentioned by the Wet Boot Boys. I also remember them mentioning something about communists, but maybe they're conflating them? <laughs> maybe to them trade unionists are communists? I don't know. But we've heard a little bit about trade unionists. I know that, I just don't remember specifically what. I 100% support them, though. If I've learned anything from reading games Twitter over the past year or so about labor practices, it's that unions are very important in game development and in everything. You lost your job because of your beliefs. Those bastards really hate a worker who refuses slave wages and unsafe conditions, especially when it's a woman. Can I help them somehow? Doesn't look like it for now. They've got a lot of other hints that I can still unlock, though, at some point. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? What is it you want? Does he owe you money? Has he displeased the Royal Highness? I'm no snitch, Mr. Fancy Pence. Well, I'll leave you for now. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. Alright, I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to go further on into, I think this is the asylum. Which I guess is inside of the old Dawson uh, rope factory, right? I think this is where someone said they used to make ropes before it closed. So, I will be back soon and we'll see if we can find Sean Hampton.